I had actually been planning on using an actual vintage soap this week, but it turns out, perfect timing from Katie's Bubbles, what arrives in the mail? An actual other type of vintage soap. Hello again, Michael Friedrich here from beautiful North Carolina and today I have only one new shape product for review. It is from Katie's Bubbles, this luxury shaving cream vintage surf that I think it stands for Single Edge, Single Edge Razors Facebook group. Also it's a custom set designed for a Facebook group that you can now buy uh, directly from the, uh, from the Katie's Bubbles website. Let me just show you what this looks like. I've already scooped out some for use in the loading bowl and also provided a sample already to somebody. Uh, it is a very, very soft soap. It doesn't look like it, but when you begin to scoop it or you touch it, it is very, very soft. Like you can just pull this out with your finger quite easily. Oh, and the scent, the scent is kind of a real old school throwback. So for me, it starts off with kind of a, a light floral and a little bit citrus. And then immediately I get like a big hit of musk and wood and a undertone of leather and it just smells delicious and uh, this is one of the Katie's bubble soaps that will be staying in the house my wife took one sniff of this and said ah oh, you're not sending that off to, to, our, to our son this one stays in the house wonderful scent I'm going to be shaving with uh, the fine accoutrements marble razor for the second week I'm going to be continuing to use this pull silver blade so this will be shave number 12 so let me go ahead and get the razor assembled top cap blade base plate and then the washer whether it helps or not or makes a big difference I don't I don't really know and I don't really care in some ways I just like using it yes this base plate actually has a small raised washer like surface and I'm just adding the washer to that. Modern razors may not make much of a difference, but frankly, I don't see why you shouldn't use it. If you want to use it, go ahead. Certainly no harm to be done by using one. All right, the brush for today, before I wet my face, is the slightly exaggerated hourglass shape handle from Rodney with the mini bore knot. It's been a fantastic fit for the, uh, for the soap. I've had it soaking for a few minutes. I'm following my shower. Two and a half days worth of growth. Let's go ahead and get my face wet, get lathering, and we'll go. Now, in terms of the uh, soap versus cream for Katie's Bubbles, the main difference seems to be the use of shea butter and jojoba in the soap, but only jojoba in the cream. So no shea butter in this one. It's again, an all vegan recipe, other than I think that one of the scent ingredients, the musk, I think does have an, an, an animal source. So just bear that in mind if you're truly strictly vegan. All right, let's go ahead and get the, get this lathered up. I've been soaking. I'm just kind of kind of just wet it through in the sink a little bit. Shake out most of the water. That's going to be plenty. I'm still going to be loading pretty heavy. As you can see, obviously it starts to build kind of a light frothy lather very quickly. That's just because of the loading bowl really. But I want to make sure I get enough loaded. Nope, not yet. Add a bit of water to the bowl. Yeah, so the cream, like the soap, is incredibly easy to use. Like You should have no issues building a lather with this soap, and it is also uh, able to take quite a bit of water. So if you like a very kind of wet lather, I think you're going to be very, very happy with this. Alright, so to work it a little bit because the remainder of the soap is in the ridges of the bowl, but as you can see that's starting to form a nice, slightly denser, less airy. Yeah, there we go. I'll just scoop all of that out of the bowl. Then we'll start working that up into a nice creamy dense lather. I've had oh I caught most of that, but not all of it. As you can see, this is already starting to build, starting to hold together a little bit. 
Scent strength, by the way, is quite pronounced, strong, and very distinct. And you can really still smell during the shave, so it doesn't really dissipate at all while you're building a lather. Oops, I think I may have actually loaded too much soap. <laughs> like that's even possible. I'm going to add a bit of water to that. I mean, look at that. That's just absurd. Yeah, I find both the soaps I've never had an issue with. They're just incredibly easy to work with. Really kind of effortless lathering. And I've had sort of the same experience here. Except I think I've been overloading every day. <laughs> so what? Alright, let's add just a touch of water to that. And knock down the volume a little bit. There we go. I'm just dripping just a little bit. You can just see the brush is just a little bit wet. So now I'm just going to slowly work that water in. I don't need to really agitate the lather too much more. I'm not looking to build volume, really looking to just to make this as slick as I can. There we go. From memory, and I don't have them to compare, but I think that the soap builds a slightly denser, um, maybe a slightly heavier lather, which may just be the inclusion of the shea butter, but there is not a material, really, um, like a dramatic material difference between them at all. All right, let's warm this up. This is the 12th shave on this blade. I don't know that I'll continue to use it. I think I'm gonna stick with this razor for another week or two, just because I'm enjoying it so much. Just easy. This blade is doing pretty good, but I don't think quite as well as the last one that I shaved with. It has some other blades in the wings that I definitely want to try out in the razor as well, so I'll probably leave this one go at 12. But as you can see, not having any issue going through two and a half days of growth. Well, two and a quarter. Very nice thickness on the soap. Yeah, if you want a slightly denser, heavier lather, start with less water. Bit of a rough week overall though, I've been sick, very congested, very unpleasant head cold. Still shaved every day, but I think I did the two pass shave three days out of the week, something like that. Yeah, I don't know about you, but when I get sick, I have a cold, particularly cold, or maybe a touch of the flu. It's always the same for me. My skin just feels, I mean, my skin overall feels very sensitive and kind of irritable. But, shave still felt pretty good. Okay, let's go for pass number two. We leather. Oop. Yeah, lovely, creamy, soft feel to the soap. There we go. Yeah, there's really no need in some ways to worry about reworking up a big lather for that second and third pass. You're just looking for a good slick layer of soap. There we go. And that's, that sounds pretty good. All right. Pass number two. 
And I've been sort of watching myself shave with this razor a little bit because, you know, people had complained about, just rubbing off some of the water, complained about the fact that the razor was kind of sticking to their face or just maybe kind of rough or uncomfortable. I think there's a, a couple things at play there. One is that, yes, this razor is really efficient. It really takes it off. So you do need you do need a good lather, like you need a good slick layer because there is more, there's sort of more surface area of the head touching your skin. If you sort of take a look at, I, don't, I wish I had a, um, a blade wrapper, but if you take a look, you can sort of see there's a significant amount of metal that is potentially touching your face. If you're holding it according to the angle of the top cap, if that piece is flat against your skin, uh, then there's also still a substantial portion of the safety bar that is touching your face as well. So yeah, you can definitely end up in a situation where there is a quote-unquote a lot of the razor touching your skin and that means You need a good slick layer of lather to make sure that that can you know, move over your face easily and smoothly. There's a couple of things you can do to mitigate that. You can always try to ride the safety bar a little bit or maybe try to ride the cap a little bit, but those two angles feel a little less natural with the razor somehow. Yeah, this blade still feels It feels less sharp, but still pretty smooth. And overall, the razor still is so easy, so easy to shave with. I meant to change out the handle and I just kind of forgot. I wasn't feeling good at the beginning of the week. I just forgotten that figure once I started, I might as well leave the original handle on. But if I can remember for next week, trade out the handle. What I may use if I still have one is one of the Gillette Menorah blades or maybe one of the rainbow blades I've got. Yeah, I mean, at least for me, this razor is just so easy to use, you know? I don't ever feel like I'm in danger of cutting myself. I don't feel like I'm, in, I'm having any kind of difficulty finding the angle. Excuse me, I'm not having any difficulty finding the angle. Um, it never feels like, oh, I've got to be really super careful about a weird motion on your face, or if you put it on there, the edge is going to catch. Just none of that. And for those of you that are in fact not finding it that smooth, well, I hope either that a small adjustment, maybe with the lather or the, or maybe with an additional pre-shave or maybe a different blade. I hope you can come to enjoy this razor as much as, as much as I do, because I think it's a real shame if you have it and you're just not loving it. On the flip side, remember, not every razor can work for every person. It just may not work for you. And if it really doesn't, then you know what? Zero regrets. Pass it on. Sell it or just give it away to somebody. And, uh, you know, see if it, uh, as they say today, sparks joy for them. All right, there we go. Mm, third and final pass. Scent strength remains good and strong, by the way. You can definitely still smell the, uh, smell the scent. Uh, it doesn't really change much it's sort of over the course of the shave, so it does have kind of a light, uh, kind of a, a bright citrus piece to it, but this, that's really my touch. For me, definitely the, uh, the wood scent and kind of the, uh, kind of the musk, that kind of really, I don't know, that seems to be the predominant scent for me, So what I'm trying to spit out here. All right, final pass against the grain. I was having trouble placing just like the scent reminded me of something. I couldn't really place it, but then I read, I think, 
either the description on the website or someone else's description. I think they used the word suede, and that's when I realized, ah, there is a, a hint, or like a leather scent to this. And that's what I was having trouble placing, but it's definitely there for me. Yeah, this is just really good soap. That's all there is to it. Just making for a very easy shave. You know, as much as it may pain me sometimes to show up at work with a two-pass shave, nobody can really tell. At least I hope they can't tell. There we go. Yeah, and I will say, this razor is a good reminder, by the way, to shave where there is lather. Yeah, wow, okay, I'm just gonna do a quick touch up right here. I feel like I may have neglected that a touch. There we go. Much better. Yeah, okay, wow. Yeah, when you're rinsing off the soap, it definitely feels a little bit light. Easy to rinse, doesn't leave behind like a heavy kind of slick layer. In the scheme of things, <laughs> I just love saying it now. Easy to rinse, not a lot of residual slickness in the sense that there's like a kind of a heavy, greasy, or sort of a fatty layer left behind, which is true for a number of the very sort of heavy towel or sort of heavy fatted soaps. Post shave for me has been pretty good. No real tightness. I mean, like any soap, you leave your face for a while and of course it's gonna get tightened up after a while, but immediate post shave feel, really nice. All right, let's towel off. I'm gonna wet my face again, briefly. because I'm trying, really trying to finish up the Chateau Lux 2018 Maggard Razors Meetup Aftershave Tonic Splash Toner. But for some reason, I don't know what it is about this bottle, but maybe someone's sneaking in at night and like refilling it. But whatever it is, it does not seem to be going down. It is obviously, but it just seems like. I'm just putting a bit of water on my face. This definitely benefits from a slightly damp, slightly damp skin. So I'm going to give it a good shake. Um, I have been using what I feel like is a lot every day, and there is still, I mean, there's still quite a bit in the bottle. You can see like the lines up to there, and I've, you know, I don't know. It's not that I don't like this and therefore want to get rid of it. I love it. It smells fantastic. It's a great fit, actually. As a follow-up to this particular scent, there is an aftershave bomb for the vintage, but I don't have that, so I'm following up with this. 
which has a slightly brighter tone to it. Oh, man, it just feels really good. That's a neck, just an excellent way to close out that shape. Overall, really good. I'm going to put on a little bit more. Oh, God, still. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to clear out some of the, you know, the bits and bobs on the shelf in there. As more things come in and there's an array of things that only have a little bit left, you feel this compulsion to get rid of those things. At least I do. All right, let me rinse off my hands and let's do a lightning fast recap of the shave. And that was another really good shave. Just love how that, uh, that post shave stuff makes my, makes my skin feel. Just a great combination of a little bit sort of toner feel to it. A little bit hydrating. My skin feels sleek, but not like slippery or tacky. Great stuff. All right, let's start off with the star of the show though. Today it was the vintage surf soap from Cream, I should say, from Katie's Bubbles. This is jojoba oil only, no shea butter in this formula. So it does feel a little bit lighter. I wish I had the two to compare, but as I said, my son has absconded with all the other Katie's Bubbles that I've had. Very, very nice soap. Super easy to lather, zero issues. You can put a ton of water on the soap and it's gonna to continue to go. I've been loading heavy all week. If you want to get a slightly thicker, denser lather, start with a heavy load and light on the water. I think you'll be quite, uh, quite pleased with what you get there. Wonderful stuff, very nicely done scent. Starts off with a crisp bit of citrus and floral there. To me, it's, it's definitely the overtones of the wood and kind of a warm, musky, maybe slightly, slightly sweet scent with the touch of leather in there. Beautiful, love it. Second week with the fine accoutrements Marvel with the second week on the Wisdom Med Pulse Silver Blade. That one will go and I'll switch to maybe a Derby, maybe one of the Platinum Extras or Premiums, or maybe one of the, uh, one of the other Gillette Blades. Still loving this razor. Um, Rodney Miniature Bore, slightly exaggerated hourglass shape to the handle, so easy to hold, beautiful wood. Just love this brush and just Easy, easy, easy to use, zero issues. And then, let's close it off with what maybe we should describe as a bottle exemplifying, once again, the miracle of Hanukkah. It was supposed to last only one night, and yet eight days later, we're still going strong. Chateau Lux 2018 Maggard Meetup uh, giveaway. And they just gave this away to people. Kind of crazy. Thank you so much for that, by the way. Wonderful stuff. All right, my friends, that's it again for today. Thank you again so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. As always, please feel free to leave comments or questions against this video or any previous video. I did not feel good this week at all, so I sort of lay low and didn't bother replying to the comments, but I'll get back to last week's and then this week's comments sometime early next week. Thank you again so much for those comments and questions. And again, until next time, goodbye.